Thank you, Liz. Good morning, everyone from Colombo, Sri Lanka. Liz, can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead. Yes, thanks uh, again, and especially for Alan for the kind invitation. And uh, as always, it's a great pleasure to be a part of a respected panel who's uh, really dedicated their lives and mission towards establishing what I feel is a respect for a rule-based international system of governance. Uh, and it is also an equal honor to be speaking as a member of the International Association of Lawyers Against Nuclear Arms, whose mission is also to actively contribute kind of towards awareness raising and taking action uh, for the elimination of nuclear weapons and its implication for international law. And my topic today is on nuclear weapons and international law. And uh, in, in the time duration, I hope to uh, share a few points uh, uh, with regard to this. Uh, let me at the very outset state very clearly uh, that nuclear weapons are illegal in all circumstances under international law. And uh, to further substantiate this point, uh, uh, this statement, let me make key interventions, three key in interventions. The first is that nuclear weapons are illegal under international law, not merely because there is now a convention specifically banning the nuclear weapon, but because this illegality stems from principles of customary international law. And we had last, uh, in 2017, over 120 odd countries signed the convention banning nuclear weapons. Uh, and it is actually a common misconception that a specific treaty or a convention is required to determine the legal status of a given issue. In this case, the legality of the nuclear weapon. This is not so. Principles of customary international law over the centuries have always set out that any weapon that goes beyond the purposes of war is in violation of international principles. In fact, those who are involved in drafting these new conventions and treaties within the multilateral system know very well that it is the principles of customary international law that they refer to in regard to drafting these new conventions and treaties. Equally, it is the same customary principles that are referred to by all international lawyers and practitioners when these conventions are being interpreted. Now, this was very well established in the famous decision of the ICJ in 1996 in the legality of nuclear weapons, which is perhaps the most important matter that came before the International Court of Justice. But this was also further substantiated by a cumulative level of events, including the People's Tribunal on Nuclear Weapons and Human Civilization, which was convened in 2016, where it was both held that nuclear weapons are legal under international law, but also had the further dimensions that uh, nuclear weapons would necessarily violate the rights of future generations uh, in order for them to reach their fullest potential. My second point is that nuclear weapons have been deemed to be illegal under both international human rights law as well as international humanitarian law or more popularly known as laws of armed conflict. From the outset of kind of the modern developments of both these bodies of law, human rights and international humanitarian law in the last century, there have been countless documents, resolutions, agreements, declarations and so forth that has clearly articulated articulate that nuclear weapons are illegal. For example, under, under international human rights law, one of the recent most development was the UN Human Rights Committee general comment last year uh, in October 2018 with regard to right to life, which is stipulated under the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. It was held in the general comment that the threat or use of a nuclear weapon is incompatible with the right to life and may amount to a crime under international law. And going back to the judgment of the ICJ in 1996, and especially the separate and dissenting opinion of late Judge Christopher Veeramantri, he gives detailed illustrations on how the use of nuclear weapons go far beyond the purposes and objectives of war and violate every principle of international humanitarian law 
including the principles of distinction and principles of proportionality. With these two points, which are established in the principles of international law and illegality of nuclear weapons, I wish to turn to my third and final point. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 2019 marks kind of 100 years for the academic study of modern international relations, which is, of course, held together by key principles of international law, especially what we call within international lawyers field, the cardinal principle of international law, which is pacta sunt sarvanda, which in, in, in English means promises are meant to be kept. While we see the world over negative, alarming and narrow kind of nationalistic movements and opinions uh, taking shape, there is also a separate group of people, such as those who are connected to this webinar and all the networks that you're working with. So kind of a multitude of global citizens who are really dedicated to a shifting the scales of global relations from a state-centric mechanism, which was kind of built in the 17th century up until our century, to a people and earth-centric relationship. You know, we are truly to build a global consciousness on our duties to each other, the planet, and to all future generations of life on our planet home, then it's perhaps the clearest stipulation that nuclear weapons or any other weapons of mass destruction has no place within this consciousness. This clear shift that we all are responsible for should inform our decision making today and into the future. And especially with regard to synergizing our common efforts, whether we are from the global north or south, east or west. Our time is now. In conclusion, I would also like to invite those who are interested, uh, if you're interested in getting further information, to refer to the Abolition 2000 Working Group on International Law where at the end of the webinar we could share the necessary link.